Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. When SMIC's 14 nanometers chip production capacity rushed to the third place in the world, and when Huawei engineers were debugging the 37th multiple exposure parameters in front of the DUV lithography machine, China's semiconductor industry was rewriting its destiny at two speeds. On one hand, it was the people's war of mature processes, and on the other hand, it was the lightning breakthrough of the 7 nanometers highland. The robotic arms on the Shanghai production line work day and night. In 2024, China's chip production exceeded 430 billion, an increase of more than four times in 10 years. SMIC's 14 nanometers FinFET process seems to be late, but it has become the core testing ground for domestic equipment. After the etcher verified the stability of the 28 nanometers production line, it finally withstood the nanometer level precision test in this advanced production line. Nanjing Optoelectronics RF dry photoresist passed customer verification, and the purity of domestic electronic special gases reached 99.999%, which was injected into the blood vessels of wafer manufacturing like blood. This mass production has brought an explosion to mature processes. Yangtze Memory's 128-layer NAND chip forced Samsung to retreat from its price increase plan, and the share of domestic storage rose to 7%. 28 nanometer RF chips accounted for more than 40% of 5G base stations, and automotive-grade MCU chips were installed in BYD's steering wheel. When Huawei's Kirin 9020 chip was running on the Mate 70 mobile phone, engineers from SMIC were detecting transistor defects in the N plus 2 process under a microscope. Behind this 7 nanometer chip, carved with a DUV lithography machine, is a crazy test of the physical limit. A double exposure requires 12 masks to be superimposed, and it took 14 months for the yield to climb from 35% to 68%. Each time the etching angle is fine-tuned, the vibration amplitude of the equipment must be controlled at 0.1 nanometers, which is equivalent to one hundred thousandth of a hair. The 28 nanometer lithography machine delivered by Shanghai Microelectronics is undergoing a 7 nanometer limit test on the Beijing production line. Although ASML's twins can NXT, 2000i is still the main force, domestic photoresists have covered KRF to RF processes, like Jiangfeng Electronics target materials, which have blocked the material throat. In the joint laboratory of Huawei High Silicon, and SMIC, chip architects directly moved their desks into the workshop. The design team modified the circuit spacing according to the characteristics of the lithography machine, and the manufacturing team customized the etching formula for the Kirin chip. This demand-driven innovation model is being replicated. When designing the Xiaomi Xuanjia O1 chip, SMIC reserved a 3 nanometer process interface in advance. Huahong Group optimized the packaging solution for the Cambrian AI chip and compressed the diameter of the silicon through hole to 4 microns. The synergistic effect even crosses the technological gap. Changdian Technologies 3D SOIC packaging technology stacks 14 nanometer chips with 7 nanometer performance. Huawei silicon photonic chips use photons instead of electrons to transmit data, bypassing process limitations. In the target material factory in Hefei, 
ultra-high purity titanium metal is being purified in a vacuum melting furnace. The sputtering targets made by Jiangfeng Electronics with this material have reduced the price of similar products of Honeywell in the United States by 23%. After China tightened the export of gallium and germanium, Japanese companies began to recycle rare earths in old mobile phones. Yunnan Germanium Industry mass-produced 6-inch silicon carbide wafers with a withstand voltage 10 times higher than traditional silicon wafers directly plugged into the core module of Tesla charging piles. These inconspicuous materials connect the technology chain. Domestic high-purity hydrofluoric acid cleans TSMC's legacy 28 nanometer production line equipment. Third-generation semiconductor gallium nitride power devices reduce the loss of photovoltaic inverters to less than 3%. When TSMC announced the postponement of the 2 nanometer process, Huawei's silicon photonic chips were already transmitting 100 terabytes of data per second in the Dongguan data center. While Samsung invested tens of billions of dollars in GAA transistor structure, China chose a more cunning tactic. The RISC-V chip of iterative spacetime uses 12 nanometer process to achieve 5 nanometer energy efficiency. An Alibaba Xiantai C920 avoids ARM patent wall through open source architecture. San Optoelectronics silicon carbide MOSFET chip reduces the volume of high-speed rail converter by 60%. These technologies seem scattered but they form a multidimensional firepower network, just like the EUV light source experiment of Shanghai Institute of Optics and fine mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Although it has not reached the commercial standard, the energy conversion efficiency of 3.42% has exceeded the data of European and American laboratories. At this moment, on SMIC's 7 nanometer production line, the robotic arm is clamping the 208th wafer. The cold light reflected by the silicon wafer reflects the back of the engineer who worked all night beside the 28 nanometer production line 10 years ago. This light cuts more than just nanometer numbers but also the gap between an industry from relying on others to standing on its own.